Hi, Leticia. Uh, congratulations on making the all-region team and advancing to the Final Four. Thank you. Obviously, it's been a long and difficult journey for you with the injuries you sustained in high school. And then last year with the leg brace and, you know, this, your season with South Carolina being interrupted to go up with Team Canada. What does it mean to you and all the hard work you put in to get your name called to be on that all-region team and to have a historic night uh, with nine block shots and one half in a game to propel your team to the Final Four? Can you just talk about, you know, what that moment was like for you? Uh, I think it's just proof of my testimony. Um, like you said, it's been a rough couple of years, but um, I think I just stuck strong and, and kept in my faith, and um, I think that really helped me get to the point where I am right now, um, just trusting in God, because obviously my plans, um, if I had to choose, would be a lot different than what it is right now, but um, just sticking the course, and Coach also, also, I remember when I got injured, she just said, this is a part of your testimony, and you're going to have a great story to tell, so um, after seeing that, you know, it just put a smile on my face, and um, it just, you know, gave me a lot of hope and, and perseverance through, through all the hardship that I went through. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation before asking your question. Our next question will come from Greg Hadley. Hi, Leticia. This is Greg Hadley with the State Newspaper. Um, I was just curious because you have been to the NCAA tournament back when that, that first met when you were enrolled early. You kind of have that experience a little bit. How does this year compare? Does it feel... I mean, just the, the overall experience going in with the bubble, does it change it a lot or, or does it still feel kind of very exciting to be where you are right now? It's so exciting to be here. I mean, um, it's a lot different. I'm playing now and I'm also on the court now. So um, obviously the hype around that is very exciting, but obviously the times are different, but I'm very excited to be here and it's, it's still a very exciting tournament. Our next question comes from Matt. Go ahead and ask your question. Hey, Leticia, Matt Dowell, Watch Fox in Columbia. There's a lot of emotions that you feel, I'm sure, getting, getting ready for the Final Four. Nerves, excitement, adrenaline. How do you guys balance all of that so that one doesn't overtake the other and that you are focused and ready to go when the ball is ready to tip off? Yeah, I mean, this is a goal that we set from the beginning of the season. So um, we're here now and just being able to look back on the season, all the hard work you put in, um, you got to trust in that. And when, when you work hard, as hard as our team does, um, you feel ready for these moments. So obviously we're excited to be here, um, but we trust in our work. Our next question comes from Rick Henry. Go ahead. Hey, Letitia, Rick Henry, WIS-TV in Columbia. Uh, before the uh, tournament, um, Coach Staley told us that a player knows when they need you to step up. And the fact that you've been able to step up right when the team needed you most and make some significant contributions, just how gratifying is that for you? It's very gratifying. Um, just trusting the process. Um, you know, definitely it's been tough to have it up and down during the season. But um, when coach needs me, when my team needs me, uh, I'm happy that I'm able to step up and, and give them what they need. Our next question will come from Pepper. Pepper, go ahead. Thank you for calling on me. And um, hi, Leticia. Pepper Percy with the next. Coach Staley and Coach Barnes are making history as the first pair of black female head coaches in the Final Four. What does it mean to you to be coached by a history-making black woman? It feels great. Um, it's something, somebody that you look up to, um, not only on the court, but somebody that you can look up to off the court as well. Um, it's great because um, as a black woman myself, um, looking up to somebody that looks like me um, is always gratifying because you look at um, the tra trajectory that you can become um, and also giving hope to young black women as well um, that are looking up in the media and they're able to see somebody that looks like them. Um, it will help them uh, be able to realize their dreams. Our next question comes from Dick Cox. Go ahead, Dick. Hi, Leticia. This is Dick Cox with Lindy Sports and Cox Sports Broadcasting. A lot of people don't realize this is a very young team, and this team kind of struggled to find their identity early in the season and, and were labeled as being soft and too nice. But within the last month and a half, this team has really developed a physical type uh, style of play. 
Uh, do you think that's what got you to where you are now? And do you like the physical style of play you're playing now? Yeah, I definitely like it. Um, during the tournaments, win or go home. So you're definitely going to see a lot of physicality. Um, and I'm glad that my team is able to step up and, and you know, be able to throw that first punch and um, carry on to every single game that we play because we know that we're going to get the best of the best for every single game we play. Our next question comes from Mitch Brown. Go ahead. Matisha, hey, it's Mitch Brown from Watch Fox in Columbia, South Carolina. <clears throat> um, Coach Daly mentioned it. You mentioned it. Uh, she wanted you guys, and she said she put the challenge on you guys to come out the gates and square up on teams first. Um, what what made that switch for you guys where, you know, once the postseason hit, it's been, you know, easier for you guys to get out to an early start. Was that just going through those growing pains you talked about, or did a flip kind of switch for you guys once it was winter go home time? I think a flip switch um, in us and the fire um, became bigger, of course, like you said. Um, it's winter go home, so this is not the time to, um, you know, just squeeze by. We got to make sure that we're bringing up a point um, every single game um, because teams will punch back. We've seen it happen. This is March Madness, so um, even if you have a lead, people are going to come back and, and give it their all. So um, definitely just being able to work hard from the start um, so that we can just keep going and, and apply that pressure. We have time for two more questions. The next one will come from Keith. Keith, go ahead. All right, let me get this right. Keith Allsep, 24-7 Sports and TheBigSpur.com. So, Letitia, earlier this year, uh, you got a steal near midcourt. You kind of had a chance to dunk, and uh, kind of the player kind of bumped you, and then against Oregon State, you had that steal, and I think a lot of people thought you were going dunk. Uh, now you're getting ready to be on the biggest stage of them all. If you get the opportunity to have a breakaway in the Final Four, are you planning on dunking the basketball? Um, I really can't tell you. It really depends on the situation. Um, I think that the Oregon State game, I was so locked into that possession um, that I wasn't even thinking of that. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> you never know with me. <laughs> Doesn't look like we have any more questions, so thank you very much for your time today, Leticia. Good luck as you prepare for Stanford. Thank you.